Okay, so the customer of this car was complaining that the engine was running rough and when we had a good look at it, we found out that the ECU seemed to be faulty. Rather than going to try and repair the ECU or replace it, we decided it would be better to replace the entire system with a modern fully sequential injection system. So here we have a simple fuel injection conversion we carried out on a P1800 Volvo made famous by the Saint TV program, although this one's blue, not white. Uh, we actually painted this car as well. So we're going to start off by removing the front crank pulley so that we can machine a trigger wheel to attach to it. Uh, that'll need to be a 36 tooth with one tooth missing. Uh, each tooth signifies 10 degrees of crank rotation. We start off by measuring the pulley and producing a CAD drawing of the trigger wheel we want to create. So now we're going to draw it on eMachine Shop and cut it out on our plasma cutter. So here we're just marking out all of the teeth on the trigger wheel. Uh, each line is 10 degrees. We then export that to SheepCam so that we can turn it into machine code that the CNC plasma cutter can understand. This is the Mac 3 software that controls the plasma cutter and we're going to load the machine code into that. And in a second it will start cutting. We use this CNC plasma cutter almost every day. Uh, we can make all sorts of things. We make chassis repair sections, uh, engine mounts, uh, and trigger wheels, like here. Uh, the machine can cut stainless steel, aluminium, uh, mild steel, up to a thickness of about 10 millimeters. Uh, so we can also use it to make exhaust manifold flanges, which is another useful purpose for it. Once it's been cut out on the machine, we'll pass it over to our fabricator, Ed, who will clean up the old pulley and then TIG weld the new trigger wheel onto it. Here Ed's just deburring the trigger wheel that's come off of the machine as the plasma cutter does leave a bit of a rough finish on thicker metals. Ed's working on our jig table which is perfectly flat and square. Uh, you may see it in other videos we do. special clamps now that attach to the jig table to hold the workpiece flat and square whilst he's welding. For now Ed is just tacking the trigger wheel on and he's going to confirm that it's perfectly central and square before final welding. Hugo's removing the old injector rail and replacing the injectors with high impedance injectors that are compatible with our ECU. He's also installed a wasted spark coil pack and a fuel pressure regulator. Hugo's now installing a wideband lambda sensor which the ECU will use in in uh, closed loop mode to adjust its own fueling. Here goes just removing the remains of the old loom and the old ECU and installing our new ECU that's been specially built for this particular classic car.
now that all the major components are installed, Hugo's just pulling the loom through, which he'll terminate to the injectors, crank trigger wheel, and coil packs, etc. Okay, so we've taken this car from its original Bosch injection system, which is quite crude, to a modern fuel injection system with a fully sequential injection and a closed loop system that allows it to adjust its own fueling on the fly.